Anthony Yard versus Stephanie Koikov. To those who don't know, they recently just fought over in the UK. Fight literally just ended minutes ago at the time of making this video. Uh, event was shown live here in the States on ESPN Plus, by the way. So if you want to watch the replay, just go to ESPN Plus. Uh, but yeah, this fight between Yard and Koikov, um, as you guys can tell by the title, it lasted three rounds. Fight ended in the third round with Anthony Yard, as expected, winning the fight by KO in round number three. Was too strong, too skilled, to do everything for Koikov to handle. Uh, first round, it was more like a fill-out round for uh, Anthony Yard, filling him out, boxing, moving around more. He got caught with one good clean shot uh, from Koikov, and Yard took it pretty well. And um, yeah, Yard did a very good job going downstairs, hitting him in the body, clean in the body, um, and mixing up upstairs, downstairs. Uh, and in the second, third round, he started to walk him down more and cut off the ring. And in the third round, he just went for the kill. And he was able to tr throw some uh, really good combinations. Was like, able to get him to the ropes and uh, eventually stop him. Uh, well, drop him, I should say. And um, you can see Koikov, like he's on his knee. Um, and you can tell that he didn't want to continue anymore. He let the referee go all the way to the tent count. Can't blame him. I'm sure he's feeling those punches. Those were big, heavy punches, especially to the body. Those were good clean shots to the body. Um, and you can see, you know, Koikov folding a little bit, like flinching down a little bit whenever he gets hit to the body. And he's feeling those body shots. And um, I guess he realized that there's no way he's going to win this fight. So can't blame him for not wanting to continue. So anyway, uh, with this win, Anthony Yard improves to 23-2. and 2, 22 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. It was expected for him to win. So no surprise, and uh, it was more of a stay busy fight for him because now he has a big fight coming up in January against Arthur Biterbiev, a big, big fight, world title fight, title unification fight, um, well, unified champion, I should say, not title unification, uh, unified champion defending his belts, IBF, WBO, WBC, all those three belts against Anthony Yard. So it's a big opportunity for Anthony Yard. Can he pull it off? Uh, we'll see. A uh, fight will be late January. Um, I think we should be... I mean, some official news will be happening soon, obviously, um, now that th this fight between uh, Yard and Koikov is over. And as for Koikov, what's next for Koikov? He suffers his second loss in his pro career. He's 30 years old now. Um, I guess he realized by now that, you know, he's probably never going to be a world champion after that beating he took in this fight. Um, but if he wants to continue boxing, I guess back to the drawing board, see what's next, try to rebound from this, try to get back to winning ways. And he would be a good test for young and upcoming guys in the 175-pound division. So if he decides to keep fighting, uh, I'm sure we'll see him again, probably against a young prospect in the future. So, um, so yeah, good win. But like I said, it was expected. And, um, and yeah, if you did see the fight, let me know what did you think about it. Again, it's on ESPN+. Plus. Um, so tune into ESPN Plus if you want to watch the main event. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.